So what's a voice coil? Is that one of those uh, twisty cables on an older style telephone that you always seem to hit stuff with as you moved around the room? No. While voice coils are indeed coils of wire, the term is typically used to refer to one of two things. The wires that actuate the arm of a hard drive or the wires that make your speakers go boom, 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 you know. Both of those applications benefit from the main strengths of voice coils, extreme accuracy and high movement speed. You see, voice coils move by using something called the Lorentz force, which is created by placing a coil of wire in a fixed magnetic field. When current is put through the coil, it turns into an electromagnet, making it either be repelled or attracted to the fixed magnetic field, giving you a force. This force can actually be quite strong, meaning that voice coils can speed up or slow down extremely quickly. Speakers, for example, can accelerate at rates in the ballpark of 800 meters per second squared, or 80 Gs. Put into context, that is 16 times the acceleration required to make you lose consciousness, 27 times quicker than a space shuttle launch, and 211 times faster than my Lamborghini. But how exactly does that make your speakers and your microphones work? Well, for a microphone, as we've covered in more depth here, there's a membrane that moves back and forth as sound waves hit it. These vibrations are turned into an electrical signal as a coil of wire on the back of the diaphragm moves over a magnet. To turn this electrical signal back into sound, the process is reversed. So the electrical signal goes into the coil, which moves the speaker to create your sweet, sweet beats. And it's the extraordinary acceleration and precision that we mentioned before that makes it possible for speakers to produce such a wide variety of sounds on demand. What about computer hard drives then? Well, you can learn more about them in an upcoming video because we realized we haven't actually done one yet, but in a nutshell, on one side of the arm that hovers over the spinning disc like a record needle is the head, which is responsible for reading or writing data on the platter. And then on the other side is a voice coil. This coil of wire is surrounded by a permanent magnet that yada yada, okay, giving you everything that you need to get your Lorentz force on. So to move the arm, current flows through the coil, creating a force that causes it to pivot. Then, just before the arm of the hard drive reaches its desired location, the current's reversed, bringing it to a stop exactly, and exactly, where it needs to be. In fact, thanks to this lightning fast deceleration, the arms of hard drives are able to be positioned within a millionth of an inch, or one four thousandth of a human hair. Wow, I got like five. So now you might be thinking, why not just use voice coils for everything that needs to move? Why don't we replace the pistons in a car or use one to throw a ball for the dog? Well, here come the downsides. Excessive magnetic force and excessive heat are kind of problems. If you make a magnet too large, it can be difficult to tame the magnetic field it generates. I mean, a massive voice coil wouldn't be that great if it ripped all the fillings out of your teeth or more realistically, like not in a cartoon, wiped the data off of everything in a 10 foot radius. Also, anything that has a bunch of current going through a wire will tend to be a bit uh, toasty. If you've ever had your speakers emit the magic black smoke, that's most likely why. But this also doesn't mean that the applications of voice coils are limited to our two examples from before. One of my 
favorite uses for them that you'll hopefully see more of in coming years are voice coil actuated camera stabilizers. These are similar to gimbal image stabilizers, but instead of using several rotating motors, they use, you guessed it, voice coils to position the camera. You got it again, extreme speed and accuracy. This thing, <laughs> Wow, uses badass voice coils and is so fast and so precise that it can create two 30 FPS videos from a single 60 FPS camera, repositioning the camera between each frame to give the illusion that there are actually two separate cameras. Pretty cool. So to say that I'm amp to see where we're headed as they continue to develop voice coil technology would be an understatement. Though I can't say that I have my hopes up about a new speaker that will make Nickelback sound any more palatable. Do you enjoy your freelance work or your running your small business, but do you find the challenge of like managing your time and your expenses and invoicing clients and accounting overwhelming? Well, you're in luck because in the age of the internet with there being so many opportunities for self-employed folks who don't have a full accounting background, FreshBooks cloud accounting software is here to save the day. It's the simplest, easiest way to be more productive, more organized, and perhaps most importantly, get paid quickly. You can create and send professional looking invoices in less than 30 seconds. You can track your hours and your expenses. You can set up online payments with just a couple of clicks and get paid up to four days faster. And you can see when your client has seen your invoice and put an end to the guessing games. So try it out for 30 days with an unrestricted free trial. Just head to freshbooks.com slash techquickie and enter techquickie in the how did you hear about us section. So thanks for watching guys. Like, dislike, leave a comment with video suggestions or get subscribed. In fact, you can do subscribing in addition to all those other things. Do them all. Wait, no, don't like and dislike. Like, comment, and subscribe. That's, those are the ones.